You know, the biggest problem with this episode is the fact that they thought they can trick us into thinking that Sam or Dean was going to die. Especially in mid-season. Especially when the ground rules they laid in the first episode. <laughs> but although, then again, with the episode's overall premise and likability, how else were they going to sell this? Hmm? <laughs> Red meat. Seriously, red meat. That's the title. That is the title of the episode. I am not kidding. What could you expect from that kind of title? From anything? Doesn't seem like they went into any thought into that. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. I'm, I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I've just been depressed in my mind because of some bad stuff that happened to me for the past few weeks. But hey. Life moves on, and I'm getting better. Better week. Yeah. But anyway, you're not here to hear me talk about that. You're here to hear me talk about Supernatural again. Or maybe you're not. You're just waiting for the next reaction video. In which case, that will happen. I'm just having trouble. But anyway, this episode, it could have been better. Really. It was the first time I got disappointed by Supernatural. Well, no, it was not the first time, but... It's only the first time in a while. The season's going strong. I won't. I still think that it's just. Well, every season has a down episode. But while it's not particularly bad or good, like Batman v Superman, it's um. It could have been better. Really, could have been better. I, I know I'm harping on that, but damn, it's ugh. Okay, but, okay, I, I know I'm, I'm probably sounding negative, but it's not all negative. For instance, the episode did surprise me at some points. For instance, the Sam subplot was interesting. I actually was, I actually at some points did think he may be dying. Though, the fact that the episode thought, really thought that Naomi um, could fully trick me into thinking that he was really dead is kind of a step far on the writers because you clearly say that if they die, it's, they're gone forever, and they're not going to kick out Jared or Jensen, are they? <laughs> Maybe they'll kick out Misha, but not Jared or Jensen. They're, they're, they're like the show's bread and butter. Just like I'm on YouTube channel's bread and butter. <laughs> but, also, another thing that surprised me was the fact that I ended up liking the fact that they did a How We Got Here episode. Like they did with Baby. And I tend to hate them. I tend to hate them a lot because they tend to drive me out of the experience by just Going back and forth because I tend to get distracted by my family, and I'm thinking, wait, how we get here? What's this? What? 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 I can't piece all the I can't piece all the pictures together. Pieces together. Oh my god, I'm so out of it. But it's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's so so. That's what the word I'm looking for. It's so so. Even the plot itself is so-so, because Billy isn't even the main center of the plot, but the trailer will have you believe. She's only in there for literally one scene. And that's when Dean is dying, like he did with Tessa. Not when Sam is dying. In fact, Sam is not dying. He, well, yeah, he's dying, but he's not being raped. He got suffocated to an unconsciousness, but mm, he wasn't dying. He was not dead. Dean overdosed. He was dead. He got brought back to life, because... I'm not gonna kill them off. At least, not right now. Probably at the end of the show or the end of the season, but not right now. We're in the middle of the season. How the hell would they go on with just one actor? I, no, I, no, I actually wanted to hear your comments on that. How the heck would Superman actually go on with just Sam or Dean? That, that actually sounds, sounds like an interesting premise from for a few episodes. Get, back, get, on, get on to me on that, guys. I want to hear your stories. Message me, email me, I don't care. We're coming up in the video. Just, I'm interested. Maybe I could write a fanfic about this. I don't know. Maybe you could. <laughs> but anyway, the episode's primary premise is werewolves. And they throw you into it in like the middle of it when Sam gets shot. Sam and Dean kill the primary two, and then finds out there are two more, one of which is um, one of the people they interrogated. And they go down pretty fast. I mean, almost embarrassingly so. I mean, the first two put up so much of a fight. Those two got the drop. Sam, Sam, while bleeding to death, 
got a drop on them pretty fast. And second, and like the second time he did it, it was kind of bullshit because they don't even show you ha- show you how it happened. It's just, just like um, just he gets a drop on the fat one, and so the woman hears him, hears the commotion, thinks, oh okay, he's probably down there killing my friend, and walk 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 walk, last scuffle, Sam comes back. I'm like, and I'm, I'm thinking, how did you do that? Seriously, that I mean I. I mean, I don't have many big gripes or most nitpicks about this episode, but that's pretty much the biggest problem. How the heck Sam got the drop on her? Because you're bleeding to death. That's bullshit. I know you're, I know you're a Winchester, Sam, but come on. Even There are some things that you cannot do. So, give back to... Right, let's give back to my dad, because I want to know how he did that. Or, one of my viewers, do that. I'm very curious. Because I'm going to do everything wrong with Supernatural very soon. So, if I don't get confirmation on that, I am counting that as a sin. But, anyway. But now, they're also not the primary villains. The primary villain, actually, I don't really think there is a primary villain. I think there's just a bunch of secondary villains. It sounds weird, but yeah. Billy is not a villain. The, two wer- the four werewolves aren't villains. I think the only person who could actually qualify as a villain, the primary villain, is... Oh, I forgot his name. Oh, the guy they saved who gets turned to a werewolf. I think his name was Cotton. Was it Cotton? I don't know. The guy was so forgettable. I don't even know. Like it, his his storyline seemed like a rehash of Bitten to me. Actually, I, as I saw him, saw him get turned to a werewolf, I thought I immediately thought, "Oh my god, this is just like Bitten. This is Bitten, but worse. It did worse than found footage." Bravo. Who the heck wrote this? I actually want to know. Okay, you know what? I can't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I have been out of it, but I, I put, brought off all my points. But, but I, let's go in the summary. The strong points and the weak points. Strong, I actually believe that Sam was dying at some points. Dean getting his ass hands to him by Billy. I mean, verbally. Because, as I failed to mention earlier, she is actually ripping into him by the fact that he is not trying to save Sam for Sam, or for the greater good, but for himself, him being Dean, because Dean can't live without him. Just like how Lucifer gave Sam a what the hell moment, Dean gets his turn. Now, the cons, boring premise, overall boring storyline, boring villains, and the fact that the person who was advertised the most only appears for one scene. Being that the trailer lied. Like I said, so so. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good either. I'm just saying it's it's so okay. It's average. But anyway, what did you guys think of this episode? If you not, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you want to see more, click right there to see more. Oh, wait, wait, before I go. I will be trying to do many more videos in the future. I just. I, I, I lost someone very dear to me very recently, and I've just been dealing with that. I'm getting better, so that's why I'm doing these videos. I just had to deal with that. And if I and you guys miss me, I'm sorry. I'm I'm back permanently this time. I'm never going. I'm never going away. This child would never die. I mean, unless I die. But that's not gonna happen for a while. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I love you all. Peace.